Welcome back to Express Sport. With so many footballing headlines this weekend, there was only one man we had to chat to this morning, Ryan Boerto. <laughs> Welcome back to studio, my bro. What an unbelievable weekend of footies. Euros 2012 Jeez. gave us finale second to none. In fact, the most goals ever scored in a final. Spain have done it. They've got the treble. It looked like last night Italy came to play the usual kind of final yeah. game. Spain came to win. You know, Italy strangled teams against Germany. Yeah. They forced Germany through the middle. Germany like playing down the wings. But that'll suit Spain. Spain <laughs> will play those little dicky passes all day. And look, 4-0, it speaks for itself. Granted, Italy lost a play with about 25 minutes yeah. to go. But they're already 2-0 up, taking control of the game. I think about the 14th minute when that first goal yeah. came in. Um, David Silva, unbelievable. But in fact, all of them were playing brilliantly. Why? Because they were attacking from deep. I think Del Bosque seems to have cottoned onto something, even if it happened completely by coincidence, by losing some of his out-and-out -out strikers. Yeah. By attacking with that formation, they forced the other teams to look at four or five players as opposed to one striker. And, I mean, as soon as you're marking Iniesta, then <laughs> Xavi, no goes, Xavi yeah. Alonso. Um, you know, it was an unbelievable formation to look at last you night. Know, if you're going to do it, you can do it with a team like Spain. Spain play that, that passing football. They play from deep. They can play short. Um, nowadays, you're seeing in, in football functional strikers. You know, Torres yeah. is a very functional striker. But when you can take him off and put on Fabregas, who runs from deep, and you're going to have guys like Xavi knocking that ball, and they can pinpoint you from 40 meters along the ground, you know, it suits Spanish football. And Barcelona have done it for the last two or three years. You've seen Messi. He's not an out and out striker, but he plays functional football. <laughs> 87 odd goals behind it, his name in that's one unbelievable, season. Unbelievable. You know? Jordi Alba, what a way to get your first Jeez. goal for country. And you talk about you talk about coming from pace. Yeah. He really did hit that ball at pace. Beautiful strike. That's the thing. You can run from deep playing for Spain and you're going to get guys like Chevy or Alonso who are going to knock that ball and find you from deep. And the run was there. Italy play very flat in the back, trying to squeeze, like I said, squeeze teams and hoping for the offside trap and, and, and it just didn't work against, against Spain. Yeah, unbelievable performance there. I think Iniesta for me, as always, the standout play. He he's, didn't get the goal, but he was the playmaker. He's, he's brilliant. I mean, if you look at the passing stats, every game he's 80 to 100 passes a game. You know, he holds that ball up so well. He, he, Perlo has been raved about for Italy this whole tournament yeah, and he just he, he night, looked though. mediocre. Playing yeah. in Spain when you got guys who can all do that passing range and do it 9 out of 10 times accurate, you're going to look mediocre. And unfortunately, he's a fantastic player, but Chevy and Iniesta, they just made him look standard, standard average. I have honest. to ask your player of the tournament, all things said and done, of course, um, Fernando Torres gets the golden yeah. boot despite his lack of form, let's say, in the, the domestic now, league. Now, this is the guy that everyone's put down saying his career was done after his best at Chelsea, and he's just shown exactly what a pure professional he is. You know, to come off the bench and still be top scorer, it's, it's, um, it's special. Unbelievable. But for me, you know, Iniesta's always going to be spoken about this. There's so many players to pick out one will be very difficult. But Iniesta, for me, has had a fantastic tournament and he sort of led um, Spain from the front. Yeah, unbelievable performance. So, Euros 2012, done and dusted. We can bring it back to our local footballing yeah. league. <laughs> so much happening Sheesh. here. Let's start with the man now at the helm of Bafana Bafana, someone you know really yeah. well and I, I know you share a huge amount of respect for him. Gordon Iggerson yeah. takes the reins. I don't think a huge amount of surprise there. Um, he really has earned his stripes. You know, he's been knocking the door for a long time. Years ago, he brought Santos, who were a relatively unknown team, and they won the league under Gordon. And he's, he's a player's coach. He gets the best out of his players. He's brought guys back like Chabungu this year, who were written off injury-prone, party boy. He's brought him back and he's played some phenomenal football. And this year, he's, he finished second with Swallows, who were a team filled with unwanted players. Um, that speaks volumes. Yep, and, and what a way to start your tenure against Brazil. He's got a tough ask, but he's been given the mandate to take yeah. us to 2014. Let's hope he can do it. We'll yeah. chat to him later this week. One last major upset this weekend. One Cape side out of the PSL, yeah. another in. What do you make of Chipper United? 4-3 against Santos. Fairy tale team, come from nowhere into the first division and now they're the final thousand in the Premier League. You know, for me, Santos, um, they've played a very predictable style of football. They've been a, a, a fantastic team, but if they get strangled and that long ball gets knocked out, they just couldn't seem to find that second shifting gear. Chipper United have come from nowhere. I think it just goes to show that, you know, never write off anybody. Chipper thought, go and dusted. They came into the top four, I think, the first time the whole season to go into <laughs> promotions, and all of a sudden they find themselves in the Premier League. All about timing, man. Jeez, all about timing, timing is unbelievable. Well, it gives us a lot to talk about over the coming months. <laughs> yeah. um, so stick around. We don't go too far, but thank you so much. Have a fantastic week, sure, my brother. Lots of sport to come. <laughs> and that is a wrap of your Espresso Sport. But the real challenge still remains. Cat and I have been served. We are going to be entering into a dance 
showdown, second to none. Time to get a little taste of our choreography. I'm gonna nip across. Cat, are you nervous, bud? Are you nervous? So, and SABC3.